Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another Face Checks Live. Uh, coming to you live from the uh, Face Checks offices. And uh, we're uh, waiting on uh, Karina to come join us. Um, we are going to be discussing uh, the 17 year old that was hacked uh, on our Facebook um, at the uh, young age of 17 um, in 2010. How we all came together was that she'd seen our face checks uh, live that was uh, being broadcasted for our launch party. And basically she had uh, just come down to, the down to the party and uh, reached out to us. And she had a friend um, that, uh, had, that she had brought with her and both of them had their own stories. And, and her story was very powerful. It was, uh, she, had, she was hacked at the age of 17 and she had not uh, basically addressed the issue for seven years now. Uh, because at the time she got hacked, there was no way for her to get the images down and no outlet. So she basically just walled that off and just pretend like it never happened. And having seen face checks and, and whatnot, it uh, brought it all back. And she came to uh, came to join us for the party, which was awesome, and brought us all together. And now she, uh, or last week rather, she shared her story on how she was hacked at 17 and, and how that made her feel. So please go watch that video. And now we're going to be joined by our friend Karina, who's actually friends with the person that hacked her. Uh, not the actual person, but uh, the, the profile basically that was hacked into when she was 17 is still live today. So today we're going to be exploring that profile and see what it looks like and see what the uh, hacker has been up to essentially. Uh, what we found, um, and I'll just share with what we found in the interim, is that there were actually uh, several um, friends that were added since then. So she, it's interesting, so the hacker had 70, let's see, it was 180 uh, mutual friends with uh, Samantha, who was hacked, and in addition to that, had added 180 friends since the hacking. So... We're looking at now 360 lives impacted by this. Pretty pretty intense. So we are going to tonight just review the Facebook account, see if there's any identifying information we can get uh, before we shut it down. And then we are going to uh, identify all the people that uh, have been impacted by this, all the people that were friends with the hacker since the hacking and now. And we are going to then take uh, this weekend and next week to reach out to them. Uh, ask them if they knew about it, uh, and we'll document the experience on uh, what people's replies are, things like that. Okay, we're also on Facebook Live now as well. And I'll, uh, I'm going to bring us over to this screen over here so we can get access into uh, Karina's uh, Skype. So Karina, since there is no way to actually do a share screen on here, I'm going to actually Skype you. Okay, so why don't you take us through Samantha's uh, Facebook. Uh, let's start with uh, just scrolling to see the latest comments. So this was hacked in 2010. So when, when did you find out this profile was hacked? Was this, was this just recently? Uh, she probably mentioned it. That um, okay, it just became relevant recently, yes. Say that again? It became relevant recently um, with her doing all of this. But I'm sure she mentioned it after Facebook. Uh, okay, so you actually didn't really know about it until uh, this came about, huh? Yeah, well, she created a new Facebook. Um, so back in 2010, I followed her new one. Uh -huh. But that was just in the back of my mind after that. Uh, okay, so you knew about the hacking back then? Yes, yes. But obviously not well enough, as you can see, I tagged the old Facebook account in the picture. Oh, so you were the actual, almost, you were like the last tag on the account, huh? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and uh, finally we got a good picture going, okay. <laughs> so as last tag there, uh, what do you remember from from that time, so you, you just remember her starting a new Facebook and there wasn't really um, any talk about the hacking? No, not much. Um, she handled it pretty quickly and from what she told me, her mom also had an 
email account that was hacked. So I believe, you know, with your mom trying to handle that, this is kind of assumed that everything was good to go. But with this still being up, it's obviously not. Right. So what we're looking at right now is that 2010, there's some questionnaires sent out to friends. Um, so we're going to get inside these questionnaires this week and figure out what questions were asked and then what questions were answered. Because now Samantha's going to have to go back and see what questions were answered here and, and if there are personal questions that could lead to her uh, credit cards being hacked later, bank accounts, or accounts being set up in her name. So these are all the past friends that were uh, wishing her happy birthday was the last thing, basically, it looks like. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's scroll back up um, and let's go to the, let's go back to the amount of friends. So she has 165 mutual friends with, with you. So how come you never uh, unadded this uh, fake profile? Like I said, it was just kind of, like out of my mind, I saw her new one, but I never thought to delete the old one. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's really what happened. I saw that she made a new one and just became friends with that one. It makes sense. And did, uh, so you never thought to unadd this one? No, I'm not watching the Facebook user myself. So I probably wouldn't even notice. Got it. Now, at the at the time, uh, did any friends ever contact you to say, "Hey, did you hear about the hacking or anything like that? Was there any kind of like cyberbullying happening, happening, anything like that, or is just kind of just got hacked and then she kind of tried to forget about it?" Yeah. So the second option, she just got hacked, and you know, I'm not sure how much time she spent on it at that period of her life, but um, from what I understand, it wasn't a huge debacle. Um, or something that was talked about with me a lot. So whether mm. her and her family were trying to figure it out, I'm not too sure. Okay, and now let's go back up to the uh, about us. Because so the interesting thing we found here, uh, so that was just the timeline. Now if we go to the about, uh, we found out that uh, if you scroll down, there wasn't much in work and education, places lived. It was contact and basic info, right? It had her mother's email. Yes. Uh, now, it doesn't say any contact info shown here, but it's only on your phone you could see that her mother's email was in there, correct? Correct. And so it turns out, what we found out is that her mother, her email was hacked at the time, which may have led to Samantha's hacking. Yeah, so Samantha's uh, mother's email was in there hacked, and that then led to Samantha's hacking, and that's how they got into her Facebook account. Uh, now, if we go, let's go back over to friends now into the other section. And the reason I'm sharing this part is because one hacking leads to hundreds of other ha potential hackings. Um, did, do you remember if this, uh, if you ever got that questionnaire or if uh, the old Samantha tried to contact you or not really? Now, the old Samantha did not try to contact me. As for the questionnaire, I'm not sure. I never really did too many of the applications or games on Facebook. Mm. So whether I got it or not, I'm not sure. You just so. didn't respond to it probably. Exactly. Got it. And then the, um, what's it called? Uh, the friends here we're looking at, there's 363 friends and there's 165 mutual with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Samantha said she only has 180 mutual friends which means most of these are your high school friends, but then there's uh, 183 other just random people. Yeah. So that's kind of scary, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So it looks like this profile went and added 183 additional friends uh, versus Samantha's. According to yours, about 200, but I believe some of those are just you know friends uh, that you may know, the 25 there in the corner. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, basically 165 mutual friends and 363 total friends. So 
this wouldn't have been without purpose. So they most likely did message those other 183 people and then utilize Samantha's real profile to get connected with them. Gotcha. Now it'd be interesting to see once we get into the profile, uh, which of those 300 or 183 mute friends that she added also had mutual friends. So they might've been mutual friends of these 165 or 180 in Samantha's case. And they utilized her uh, 180 friends to then infiltrate another 180 off of somebody else's profile. So that's why it's important. Uh, well, it would have been important for her to get this down as quickly as possible back then. I know she tried, but there wasn't an outlet. Uh, but then it perpetuates itself because now this person could have created a bunch of fake profiles. Could be 180 fake profiles they created, which have befriended all of Samantha's uh, mutual friends already. So people will need to go back and just see who their friend requests were back in 2010 when this happened, uh, which is going to be a bit difficult um, because now they could have fake profiles within their network of people that just, they just added simply because they knew Samantha. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see, I don't think there's any other information we need to cover on this. Facebook has come a long way uh, since as far as being more responsive when it comes to profile hacking. Uh, reason being is because 36% of all their users are now fake. Um, and they have over, I think it was quarter billion fake profiles across Facebook. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's uh, 200, 200 million to uh, 250 million. So be careful out there. Um, a lot of them, you'll see the memes coming through or cases like Samantha's where they hack somebody else's Facebook. So uh, how... How many of your friends have ever had their uh, profile duplicated, do you know? From my understanding, just the, just the two that I know about. Um, I mean, I guess it's a good thing I don't know many more people than that. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> uh, it's actually one in six people are uh, have their profile either hacked or uh, duplicated online. Wow. It's a surprising statistic. Uh, I think Bill Maher actually quoted that. And so they believe, I believe at least, uh, Bill Maher had brought it up in his uh, last show on HBO that the um, psychological warfare that's being conducted now is online through social yeah. media, through imagery, um, obviously through television and things like that and, and movies and everything. We, we conduct the same ourselves with Hollywood but they're actually doing it now against us through our own social media. So you gotta be careful out there on what you're reading and what you take as real news versus fake news. Um, and then obviously they were talking about the ads that were purchased. And now, yeah. have you, have you uh, do you usually get a lot, some of your news from social media? Where do you get all your news typically? I typically watch the news in the morning before work. Okay. Um, and other than that, I have a couple news bulletins on my phone that'll pop up with any highlights and headlines. That's about it. Social media wise, I think you can find out a lot more about how people feel about certain things that are going on, but I agree finding, finding out news on social media, you always need to have a skeptical eye when you see stuff. Well said, yeah, well said. All right, so I'm gonna quit you on Skype, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, so just uh, hit yes on your mic, then you gotta press the green go live button once you're in there. So it says, error getting devices, please contact live Kickstarter. Oh no. All right, never mind, maybe we'll keep you on here then. Oh. Dang, I wish I could share my screen. Okay, so let's recap, because uh, a couple more people just joined us. Uh, so Samantha was hacked at 17. She had 180 uh, friends, 165 of which were mutual friends of yours. And then someone hacked her mother's email, uh, which then they used to hack into her Facebook, which then she tried to reach out to get it taken down, had no luck, uh, basically gave up and said, you know, I'm just going to create a new Facebook. And then Miraculously, uh, seven years later, well, tells everybody she obviously added, re added everybody, all 180, 
Um, and I guess at some point you knew it was hacked, right? Yeah. But you're 17 year old. You were like, ah, whatever. It's not important. I'm just, you kept this. You kept her as a friend. The hacked, hacked version plus real version, right? Yeah. Yeah. Both actually. <laughs> both. Okay. So hack version plus real version, still your friend, because uh, it wasn't important, right? It's just uh, there wasn't. This is not exactly so, social media etiquette education. Yeah. Um, and then uh, seven years later, she sees our face checks uh, live Kickstarter happening, and she mm -hmm. decides to join us for our party, and all this just comes rushing back to her. Yeah. Uh, Coincidentally, though, she was, this wasn't like a uh, a thing just like on the side of her life. It was, if she knew about it, it was definitely impacting her life. Mm -hmm. And so I can't imagine being 17 to now 24 and having lived with this, someone hacked me in the back of my head and anything I share online can be hacked. Anything I share with somebody can be hacked. Everything on my computer can be hacked. Like that's yeah. that's literally something that would be in the back of my head if I was her. Yeah. Whether I'm consciously thinking about it. So now we're here and we are in her we're in your Facebook being able to see within her profile and see what this hacker was trying to do. And it looks like he's trying to get questionnaires to get more information on her just to hack into her other accounts. And had added hundred and sixty or hundred and eighty eighty three friends purporting themselves as her. Yeah. It's very scary. So there's 183 potential victims out there in addition to your 165 mutual friends and then the 25 that weren't mutual friends before that could have been affected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's powerful stuff for everybody watching. I mean, child education is one of the things that we actually, out of doing this Kickstarter, came up with uh, another program that we're going to implement into face checks, which is going to be child education for schools, uh, for high schools and colleges that we hope to roll out to school boards so that they can do it uh, sort of like, you know, just sex ed and don't talk to strangers, things like that. Uh, same concept, just don't talk to strangers online. <laughs> don't add people you don't know. Uh, simple protocols that we've been going through on our lives, we'll, we'll be going through with, uh, with, each of the, uh, uh, with each of our programs. We'll be sharing that. Um, and so we're gonna we're gonna kind of roll that into our initiative because we're, we are here to fight child exploitation with our software. Um, our software will be able to identify uh, the age of a person by the facial recognition points on their face. Um, it's also going to be able to identify duplicates using that, um, and we'll be able to help push the initiative for safer online. Now, uh, Karina was kind enough to walk us as a mutual friend of Samantha and the hacked profile. She was kind enough to walk us through the hack profile, and I appreciate it, Karina. Uh, so, Karina, I'm going to give you a, a free face checks uh, subscription, by the way. Wonderful. Goodness, so, thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, what we're going to be doing with that is scanning uh, various, like, bad sites, uh, dating sites, to see if somebody steals your images, puts it on a dating site. Um, the sites that my wife got put on, the revenge porn sites where we were going to be scanning those as well because uh, you never know that that stuff happens uh, we'll be scanning a lot of the other nefarious sites chat boards things like that and then we'll be uh, working with the different social media companies on getting apis to connect with them so that if there is any duplicate profiles we can help fight against that uh, as well as doing our own scanning on public profiles wow thank you so much Oh, you're welcome. So it'll hopefully be a smooth report, uh, smooth uh, for you, and you don't get uh, any of these issues happening. But if you do, we'll we'll find it and we'll alert you. Thank you. You're welcome. And and please uh, tell your two friends that also got hacked to uh, contact me. I'd love to hear the story, uh, or their profiles duplicated. Those two, um, just okay. to hear their impact. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Will do. Okay. Cool. Uh, just to hear their impact and share with everybody so people can understand the impact. I mean, Samantha's case was very extreme, uh, but it's, it might not be because of all the young people that are on social media now, and they're not educated on how to keep themselves private, how to protect their profile, and how to ward off uh, strangers. How many, would you, how many uh, new ads would you say you get a week, personally, of people you don't know, or a month? 
Oh, that's tough. I get a good amount of people, and a ton of people who friend me on Facebook who I've never even heard of. Mm -hmm. um, thankfully, I, you know, I'm one of the people who follow the rule if you don't know them, and they're not your friend, you shouldn't friend them. Right. So, I have a lot of people waiting for me to say yes or no in my friend box. Many people, I've never even seen your face before. Oh, and they just got like a meme up or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are fake profiles too. People just throw, well, not everybody, but people throw memes up, things like that, that you think is, you've seen before, it looks familiar or looks engaging, and boom, they got you. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, join, uh, you're going to join us next week for Samantha when we, uh, we start informing everybody of what happened? Yeah, that sounds great. Cool. We're going to message everybody, all 360 is the plan, just to uh, make sure they know what happened and how it could impact them or how it could have impacted them and um, to go back and uh, make sure that they weren't uh, further infiltrated uh, with their social circle as well. Wonderful. Cool. All right. Well, everybody, uh, again, the story is 17 year old was hacked uh, seven years later, finally resolved. Uh, we'll, we'll have a result this week and um, a lot of closure here. Uh, we're going to get Samantha back access to her profile. Uh, we're going to inform all our friends of what happened and how they can prevent this from happening by uh, signing up to face checks. And we're going to try to open it up. Hopefully there's, others, hopefully there's not other stories, but uh, it'd be beneficial to our cause and to everybody's um, understanding of the issue if there were other issues. And we will invite you to come uh, hear those stories as well. So uh, please spend five minutes and uh, invest $5 in our Kickstarter and share this with your friends. Thanks, Karina. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Take care. Take care. See you, everybody.